Hello again, everybody. Hey, today I want to show you two locomotives I just recently got. These are the Atlas B23-7 GE locomotives. And this is the gold series, which means it's DCC with sound. They also have the silver series, which is DCC ready. And this has the ESU Loc Sound version 5 in them. And at first glance, you may think they look very similar because you have the 2309 and a 2310. But there are some uh, subtle differences, which are kind of interesting. If we pan in here. As you can see, the 2310 has a red horn, where the 2309 has the standard black. And if we put these two noses together, the Finger Arch Railway emblem is much bigger on this one as opposed to that one. And another thing I noticed the uh, 2310 doesn't have the Support Our Troops yellow ribbon. And I actually think in real life that's actually on there. I could be mistaken. Any of Finger Lakes Railway guys out there can correct me. But you can also see on the sides, the panel. Whoops, let me pan out a little there for you. The panel markings are smaller on the 10. They're bigger on the 309. Now on the other side, You can see they both have the yellow ribbon, but the 10 has the black brake wheel where the 09 has a white brake wheel. And let's just look at the back. See if there's any differences back there. Put it like this way. Ah, eh, they're about the same, I would say. I don't see much differences. The uh, Phoenix Railway is the same on those. The grab irons are white. So I think that was basically the only difference between the two units. I don't know how much different they are in real life. Like I said, I haven't uh, spent a lot of time around these locomotives. But they're beautifully done. Uh, Atlas, I don't think, is really known for doing, you know, a ton of different details, but it's nice that they did do the differences on these engines. So, let's put her on the track. Oh, by the way, they do both sound the same, as far as uh, engine sound, bell sound, horn. But let's put them on the track and uh, hear how they sound. So we got that typical GE chug chug sound. We'll do the bell. And I do believe they do ring that fast. The horn. And we got your headlight. And they also have a function 12, which is the dimmer. Let's see if we're down. We put back up. All right, so I'm trying something new here. I got a selfie stick slash tripod that I recently picked up. So that's going to reverse the directional lighting. To notch three, four, got your brake squeal, cut 
put up a notch bore. Oh, by the way, the engineers are both painted the same in both units. And just for fun, we'll do start up on 2309, just so we can see if they are the same sound. They also have, uh, both have the coupler uncoupling. They have, uh, both have dynamic braking, flange squeal, which is a nice little feature. Function seven, so when it rolls, you hear that little ching ching, you know, you, you always hear that when you see them switching. Okay, let's see if we can hear the flange squeal. I turned it on, function seven. Now we'll do function four, which is the dynamic brake. And here's a look at the back end lit up. As you can tell, that dynamic brake is fairly subtle. Now, there's one thing I do have a complaint about with these locomotives, and I'll show you here in a second. Okay, yeah, my biggest complaint about these, there's no ditch lights on either one. And honestly, I think it's a big ding against Atlas. I'm sorry, but for the price for these, they should have had ditch lights. Other manufacturers who uh, sell locomotives the same price as these have ditch lights where they're appropriate. That's my only complaint, but it, you know what? It really kind of does stick out if you see the you know, real ones. So let's run these uh, bad boys together. Well, one more thing before I run them together. These do have the uh, Accurail Accumate couplers. You see how they have that split design? I'm not a fan of those. Uh... You know, on a maintenance way car, some of a car that wouldn't be in a big train, they're okay. They're not the worst coupler out there, in my opinion. But on a locomotive, I'm going to switch them out for Katie's because I just don't think they have. They don't seem to be able to hold a ton of or pull a ton of weight. So I just want to point that out to you. All right, let's run these uh, together. All right, so here we go with two units running together. Now, if you know the Phoenix Railway, they have some of the best looking engines, but I think every car on the Phoenix Railway is beat to crap. It's it's interesting. Here we go. 